Meanwhile, hey guys, I want you to enjoy when woke women get humbled by men. A few moments later, have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? Messages for Ryan Reynolds and Rob McLean. One, you should be here right now with your squad. Two, your team about to go down in North Carolina. Let's go! Let's go! USA! USA! Again, you gotta be careful. There's a shot and keeper. Nice spin move here by Lloyd. Lloyd! Another shot, and a player is running off of him. It's a big ask, but... Well, there's Trundle able to turn with the left, and Trundle... So far, so good in this game. Trundle, again diving, and then... Murkoff trying to move around, and that's going to be... Murkoff takes that shot with... Perfect contact. Jarvis, there it is. 12-0, Wrexham <laughs> defeats the U.S. It's showtime! Here's what happens when men play football against women. We all know that there are significant differences between men and women, but women still think they stand a chance against men. So here's what happened during this encounter. The United States has won the Women's World Cup several times, but last year they wanted to play against men. Wrexham thus sent its old players into retirement, and the women were very confident and thought they would destroy the old men, but it didn't go as planned. The match ended with a score of 12 nil for Wrexham's retired players. During a training session of the Crystal Palace women's team, some male players were watching the match and decided to join them and play a bit for fun. The women didn't appreciate it. Zaha and Balazi played alone against eight women and demolished them. Zaha even nutmegged a girl, dribbled past the goalkeeper and scored okay i've never heard of the term nutmegged but i'm sure every fifa fan will get the reference at this point we all know that men outperform women in pretty much every category it could be in a home field advantage like nursing or something more obvious like literally any sport in the known universe what comes as a shock to a lot of people though or at least it used to is that women consistently argue that they can outperform men if they have the skills it's ridiculous, and I think we're about to put this little theory to rest. The comments are, 15 years boys wins against world rank 5 women team by 7-0. Feminists left the chat, and yet they are fighting for equal pay. LMFAO at the incel energy here. The video only mentions that the Rexham players were retired. The women were also retired former Team USA players. Ha, the US women's team lost to a bunch of junior high boys too. The fourth one here was a bit of a turd in the punch bowl, but I accepted it through the man guide gates to prove a point. These chicks are delusional. There have been countless cases of active professional female players who get absolutely smoked. Retirement has nothing to do with it. Now, this channel is all about helping men wake up about the modern dating landscape and helping men improve themselves. That's why I'm excited to have Tiege Hanley as the sponsor of today's video. They've helped me start and maintain my skincare routine by making the entire process uncomplicated. Seriously, I still don't think some of you believe me when I tell you how much implementing a quality skincare routine will improve your confidence in all aspects of your life. I recommend you start with their level 1 system, which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer. They provide this instruction card in every box that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. Even the lunatic women on this channel could figure it out. I've been using this brand for about 4 months and it seriously works. But you don't have to take my word for it because they have over 7,000 5 star reviews from customers around the globe. In addition to amazing skin, members of Tiege Hanley get tons of benefits including at least 20% off the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the link in the description and you'll get, get your first box 40% off, plus a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. By the way, both gifts you're choosing from are of $20 value and complete game changers. A silicone body scrubber or a nail and face grooming kit. 
Personally, I prefer the silicone body scrubber because it's better than a washcloth because washcloths are really abrasive and the silicone body scrubber can just gently exfoliate your pores. It also fits perfectly in the hand when you're scrubbing. I have one hanging in my shower, but you could choose whichever you want. So don't wait any longer. Click the first link in the description to start your skincare journey today. Before we go on with the video, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Michael Weston who shared, Somehow a guy used to be able to buy a home and support a family on one income without a college degree. Things aren't better today. I am jealous. I definitely moved out long after that was the case. But anyway, thanks for sharing that comment, so please don't forget to reach out to my email to claim your $5. As always guys, I'll be picking one comment from each video. Could be the funniest or the most liked or just one that moved me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you could be our very next winner tomorrow. So be sure to hit that like and sub button too as that helps out the channel a ton y'all. So now let's get right back into the video. your masculinity. Oh! This woman determined to take down a guy in a grappling match, but it's like watching a mosquito trying to take down a buffalo. The guy, he's not playing nice. He goes full WWE and slams her into the ground like he's auditioning for a pro wrestling gig. Let, let me let me tell you this, and you can disagree with me if you'd like. You wouldn't last two minutes as a concreter because, unfortunately, I'd like to try to prove people wrong. In the modern world, you can think that all you want, and that's because your life is so comfortable that you can have that strain of thought. But the fact of the matter is that I did concreting for mm -hmm. a few months, and I didn't last. And I'm not a weak guy, but these guys are some of the hardest people you'll ever meet in your life. They are up at the crack of dawn every day, breaking mm -hmm. their backs. Oh, and yeah. Would not last a single day. You can sit here and say girl power all you'd like. You wouldn't last a day. Miss Piggy. Sorry, when I see pink in a face like that, I can't help myself. The bottom line here is sound, though. When I was younger, I worked in Naknek, Alaska, processing salmon for a little over a month. The days were long, about 16 to 20 hours depending on demand and cleaning, sometimes with no pay. My fingernails were yellow from the old Russian Orthodox showers that were never repaired. I fought through a fever, and I actually saw a guy lose his pinky in one of the props used to cut the fish heads. So I want to clarify, I did that for a month. Most of these guys did it year long. It was one of those initial moments for me that really brought the point home. Women can't do anything without male support, but damn, do they argue like they can. Here are some comments. <laughs> and mate, you wouldn't last two minutes giving birth. You can say you're a strong man, but you wouldn't last a day giving birth. None of them could pick the wheelbarrow up. She wouldn't last five minutes. She has never spent one single day doing manual labor. These women are just so clueless, it's sad to see. Childbirth is always the last argument you see when the battle is lost. Seriously, cry me a river. Try taking a bullet in the desert or dozens of kicks to the ribs, then give us a call. Next. Well, dudes that have been changed into chicks are f***ing crushing it right now. Male Spanish soldiers are self-identifying as women to get better army digs. Army Corporal Roberto, who registered as a female in the past 12 months, reportedly he gets a better salary now. He has nicer accommodations. And then also, he was told that his pension's gone up because women get more to compensate for equality, inequality. Also gets a 15% more annual salary for being a mother. <laughs> you know what the best part is? Because out of respect for, he said he didn't want to be in the female houses and showering with them and stuff. So they just gave him his own house. So Corporal's been allowed to maintain his beard because facial hair is permitted for women, whereas guys have to shave their beard. Really? Facial hair is permitted for There's women. There's nothing in the code of conduct about right. women having facial hair. This is just a smart guy. He's a smart lady, sorry. I find these stories to be both sad and hilarious because they shine a glaring light on female accommodation that needs to end. This dude saw what was happening on the other side of the fence and just played the game. I mean, come on, how can anyone say that this movement is doping anything but simultaneously proving Western women don't have it, and that the feminist regime is, in almost every way, just crippling national defense all over the place? Here are some comments, and the chicks are pissed with this one as well. Does he get assaulted too? Being a woman is difficult. Dude found a cheat code. If women get more cause inequality, isn't it inequality? And he is lesbian. 
All right, gold star for the last one here. That made me laugh out loud for real. The amount of female rage in the comment section was amazing. They always try and highlight the most anecdotal example that has absolutely nothing to do with the clip itself. Speaking of clips, here's another. Next clip. Have you experienced her fixing dinner for you? You're right. She fixed dinner. She don't cook dinner. It's a difference. <laughs> well, please okay. educate me. What's, What's the, the difference? difference between fixing and cooking? Kraft mac and cheese. Microwave edition. That's what? Oh. That's cooking or fixing? Oh. That's, That's fixing. fixing. Okay, cooking mm -mm. is mm -mm. homemade macaroni and cheese with the... Okay. The, with your receipts. You gotta have the receipts. <laughs> Put it together. You know, when I cook dinner, I don't, I don't, I don't skip. I go chop up my onions, I go chop up my bell peppers, chop up my other type of onions, the French onions, put it in there with my little seasoning salt. Then I go ahead and chop up the lamb chops, because that's what she likes, lamb chops. So therefore, I season the lamb chops, throw them in the air fry on roast for 15 minutes, take them out, put them on the salt, let it simmer, put my rice What's in What's your the... address? Yeah, I'm about to say, we, we do it, do it. <laughs> your Honor, consider yourself educated. This guy explained how to cook a decent meal in seconds, and he was under the pressure of small claims. When I look around at most of these cases, most modern women don't even know how to turn the stove on without starting some kind of hazard. Then, when you look at men, they either buy a good meal because they're swamped with paperwork, or they make something with real benefits. The contrast is stark when it comes to women. They have no idea what they're doing because the traditional values that gave them value have been cast aside. The comments are... He cooked a whole meal in that explanation. If he can cook, why is he worried about what she's cooking? Maybe he should cook and she do something else like enjoy the meal. She just lost her husband, if this is a divorce court. The judge just found her long lost husband. 15 seconds, the dude's recipe was ready. The second comment is exactly what I'm talking about, people. The whole, if he can do it, why should I argument is what most of these women believe, but refuse to admit. Now... And now back to Women in Sport. Honestly, I might just start watching more of these for the comedic value. It's, it's like a beautiful one to two hour fail compilation. Women are constantly pushing for higher pay with professional sports, and what makes it hysterical is that using the word professional to describe any of this is a definite courtesy. One that I'll stop giving to them at this point, because I've seen better plays at the YMCA when I was 11. Seriously, how, how is this even a paid event? Who sits down, watches this, turns to their kid and says, if you work hard, maybe you'll be like that someday. That's crazy to me. The top comments are, I feel like they're actually paid too much. Okay, women, your turn to defend this. We'll wait. We traded a warlord for Brittany Grinner. Man, and this all happened in the same game. A whole quarter? I barely made it through this. Oh god, I forgot about the story shared by this third commenter, the one where we traded in a violent war criminal for a chick that couldn't leave the vape at home. I have a history in freelance journalism, so it's common to forget with the news cycle being as insane as it is, but I can't believe I forgot how feminism actually let a dangerous figure go free in a matter of days. Fantastic job, guys. Moving on. Girl power, CHP officer, Sarah, changing our tire. On the side of the freeway. Ah, yes. Girl power. The phrase that accelerated Western collapse. I guess I have to explain this, but Sarah doesn't know what she's doing. For one, that's not the order for lug nuts to be loosened or tightened. And from what all of us can see, either the jack isn't present or it's still too low to do the job efficiently. And yes, I know that you want to loosen the nuts before raising the car, but she clearly already did that and is now just confused. Adding another layer to this, every chick in the US and UK always does this thing where they piggyback off the one woman in a virtually all-male profession that does something at about 10% of what men can do in minutes. Here are the top comments. Sarah doesn't know what the F she's doing. They raw dogging it without a jack. Maybe a bear will come out of the woods and help. Girl power is calling the police when you have a flat just to then wait for a man to turn up. Sarah looks a little lost FYI. 
Yes, she does. Yes, she does. And to answer another comment, a man will have to show up shortly. That is the way. Next. Hey, up. Most people don't know this, but military women are a strategic advantage for war. I'm Lauren. I'm a military PA. I just attended a women's health conference, and we learned about the importance of addressing women's health issues to improve retention. We discussed how women think differently. We have different problem-solving skills. Women typically have a higher level of intuition. The general difference in skill set has proven to be a strategic advantage, which is why women's health is important for readiness and retention and something I've grown to love. I've had this one in my pocket for a while, and now I finally get to address it. Lady, I'll explain this as clearly as I possibly can. If your participation adds cost to your organization, you are no longer what is considered an asset. If anything, you're a liability. Women go out and join the military, but one of two things always happens. Either they never see action and act as a mascot for the recruiting pamphlets, or they end up facing a little bit of stress and their hormonal response goes completely haywire, leading to infertility and a whole bunch of other irreparable side effects that follow fighting against basic biological needs. The comments are, To the front lines, equality, LOL. Nice to PSYOP, I'm not joining or supporting. Come on, Lieutenant, you're PA. Whole video, nothing said. Me, 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 me. Exactly. To the second comment, leave it to a chick not to support men who want to fight for what they believe in. The point here is that women turn institutions into a PR circus. Sure, I can see maybe a few ways they would help in certain roles, but for the most part, the idea that a woman could fight harder when lives are on the line isn't just ludicrous, it's lethal for men who need to rely on everyone around them in a crisis. Moving on. I have been cursed today with not one, but two female Uber drivers. Both of them made wrong turns. They each got me there way later than the expected ETA. And I was running pretty late because I am a woman. And you know, there's a female only driver option on these apps. The idea is that so women could feel safer by having only female drivers. Absolutely not. If I wanna know that I will get to my destination, on time, then I want a male only driver option. I needed that today. I would pay a premium. Get at me, I don't even care. You all know it's true. At least she's honest. I don't usually use Uber drivers outside of airlines these days because the fun sauce phase of my life is mostly a memory, which might be shocking with all the clips I sift through, but when I did rely on Uber in college, the women almost always got lost because they lack spatial awareness like a rat in a challenging maze. It's why chicks will act like the world's against them when they made a decision to go into a dark alley in a red light district to catch a rare TikTok, and then blame it on all of the men who work for a living and live decent lives with clean records. The comments are, is there a bear-only driver option? Did she get picked yet? Y'all voted for this. Faster and safer. Thanks for speaking the obvious truth. Yes, she checks the pick-me boxes, but that doesn't make the situation any less true. Having women in the mainstream workforce has reduced general output by about 40%. That's not something that's shared in the mainstream media, but what would you expect from the feminist states that insist that equity be the prime priority when children starve? Next. I just got told 45 minutes ago that I am fired, so you can still see my tear streak a little bit. And I am her best friend. I'm also unemployed, and we are in the south of France right now. We're visiting from San Diego. We've been on a month-long journey. And we're going to Italy next week, and I don't know what to do with my life anymore. We're taking this walk to clear our heads. It's, it's just kind of a monumental walk because we're like, what do we do next? It's a pivotal moment in both of our lives. Where should we go from here? Please, somebody help us. We, we don't know what to do, but we need help. So if anyone has any guidance, please let us know. Gee, I wonder why you lost your job. Most men I know, as well as myself, rarely take days off. That's not meant to be a brag, it's just that most of us understand the value of loyalty and hard work. Chicks like this, especially the latest product in the young generations, like to call it balance. But that implies that you're still performing well when you're at the desk. In other words, you need to present value to whatever and whoever you are working for. Otherwise, you're a waste of space and expendable. It's not rocket science. Not that these women would excel in that area either. The comments are, posting publicly on socials that you're fired while galv gallivanting through Europe is definitely the first step. You're on the right track. Carry on, ladies. The victim mentality is its own reward. You should continue your trip. Don't come back to the U.S. Try working remotely. Maybe go apply for a job? I am amazed that they didn't realize this post would not generate the empathy that they were hoping for. I'm not. Another clip. I mean, anyone on the panel who said they're a feminist, can you give me one way that 
men and women aren't equal in today's society. Isn't there a... Don't say pay gap. Don't say wage gap. I was just going to say that, yes. <laughs> so go ahead. Enlighten me. <laughs> so that number There's that you're quoting for is they for took it. the average of all the wages, didn't control any variables for time, education, salary, time spent in the job, what the job is, and then they said, well, women make 73 cents on a dollar, but if you actually adjust for a lot of those variables in some of the more recent studies they've done, they've actually found that the pay gap diminishes virtually to zero, and in a lot of urban areas, women actually tend to outperform mm -hmm. men, and frankly, if Brian could hire the two of us and get away with paying me 75%, why wouldn't he do that, and why wouldn't the entire workforce be basically all female? Like, there's this great loophole that corporate America has that you just, like, get to save 25% on expenses if you hire women. True. Again, thank you for the honesty. The wage gap is one of the goofiest arguments that's been around the media, and it's frankly amazing how often people have to come out with the stats to refute it. Moreover, given what we've seen here, outperform is an incredibly misleading term. Is it outperforming if corporate America gives a woman an office to accommodate her temperature complaints? Is it outperforming when a female officer can't change a tire? Is it outperforming when thousands of women post videos about how shocked they are about losing a job when they're never present to begin with? No. No, it's not. The set of comments below. She only had one card, pay gap. Common sense can provide many answers. Another pick-me girl on a podcast. Yes, she's pandering, but that doesn't negate the fact that this segment proves the obvious. Western women underperform in every category. Case closed. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.